Hi, my name is Scott Deegans and I'm the CEO of DCOM. We're here today to talk about the new pharmaceutical regulations that require pharmaceutical companies to serialize each individual unit of production. This change is just taking place and is impacting not only the manufacturing process for pharmaceutical companies, but also impacting their use of ERP systems. So to start with, we've drawn out the standard production process for most manufacturing companies. Everything starts with the individual production of units. So this is where we take an individual pill or piece of product and move it into the actual container that the end consumer is going to buy. With the new regulations passed down by the FDA, it's now required that each unit that's actually produced be serialized. So before we produce each individual unit, we need to send to the manufacturing equipment we need to send the serial number allocation and the expiration date requirements. Now this is one piece of information that can be passed to your machinery from DCOM. So this flows directly into the unit production and in DCOM's world is governed by an application we call the auto finisher. The auto finisher governs the actual production of the individual serial numbers and makes sure that your machinery can keep up with the current run rate that you guys have while maintaining the new serialization requirements passed down by the FDA. So each unit is actually going to be serialized and is going to have a barcode on it that contains the product number, the expiration date, the lot number, and now the serial number. Once this is manufactured, it needs to flow through what's called a label check. The label check confirms that all the information that's printed on the barcode is human readable and correct based on the information passed into the auto finisher. Once it's confirmed by the auto finisher, it's going to flow down into the case production process. Now the challenging part here is each case needs to be serialized as well and know each of the individual unit serial numbers that flow into that case. And again, in DCOM's world, we're going to utilize our auto finisher application to govern that process so that we know each serial number that's been passed to the case and rejected by the label check going into each individual box. Finally, once all the cases are manufactured, all this product is going to flow directly into your pallet production. Again, at the pallet level, we need to serialize every pallet so that we know each serialized case and serialized unit within that pallet. So you see you're kind of creating a serial number hierarchy that's going to be used later for recall purposes. For the pallet production, with DCOM, we're going to utilize our auto finisher or our warehouse management system based upon your actual production flow to build up that pallet and then pass it into inventory. With DCOM, that pallet is immediately ready to be put away and ready for order fulfillment to actually be shipped to the customer. The end result of all this is we get the information back to the ERP system of all the different serialization levels. So you know for each serialized pallet, what serialized units and cases are included within that pallet. Now that becomes important in terms of sending an, what's called an advanced shipment notice or an ASN out to not only the customer that's receiving the goods, but also to the FDA for regulatory purposes. Now this is all necessary to enhance the recall reporting in case of a recall. Additionally, within the ERP system, we're also going to be storing the commissioned and decommissioned serial numbers for reporting purposes. At any time, the FDA needs to be able to know which serial numbers were allocated to the manufacturing process, which ones were actually produced, and which ones were actually pushed off the line through the label check process. Finally, all this needs to come together from a 21 CFR Part 11 perspective to make sure that you have the process control necessary to pass that audit.